the best cheap tablets are good enough to let you browse the web, watch videos and play games in comfort without costing you an arm and a leg. While the best tablets can cost upwards of $1,000 and come with a slew of premium features, you don't need to spend that much to get a great slate that will last you for years to come. While all the cheapest iPads are outside the price range of someone looking for an affordable tablet, there's a smorgasbord of states from Amazon, Samsung and other companies that will give you plenty value for not a lot of money. We've tested and reviewed dozens and dozens of tablets from the top manufacturers to find the best options for those on a budget. What follows is a list of the best cheap tablets on the market right now, across a range of budgets and designs. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number six, Amazon Fire 10 HD. The Amazon Fire HD 10 takes an already good tablet and applies incremental upgrades, such as a slightly bigger screen, one gigabyte more RAM and a smaller, lighter design. While it probably isn't a must have for anyone who bought the 2019 model, it's a good demonstration of Amazon's ability to put out a value driven slate that's good enough for many. If you think you'll be irritated by slight lags in performance, you should consider spending an extra $30 to get the $179 Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus. Arguably the best Amazon tablet ever. That said, the Fire HD 10 is still going to be great for the folks who are looking for a device to casually peruse the internet, read ebooks, and watch video. Its biggest flaws, though, are nothing new. Most notably, Amazon's Fire OS is still app challenged, missing the Google Play App Store, which means you can't get the full Gmail or YouTube experience, for example. And you'll miss out on a lot of great apps not available on Amazon's App Store. Number five, Lenovo Smart Tab M10 Plus. The Lenovo Smart Tab M10 Plus is the best cheap tablet you can get. It's the most fun and engaging tablet I've ever had the experience of reviewing. It doubles as a smart display, which means you can turn on Google Assistant ambient mode. This means you can pop it up on a surface to display your favorite photos, upcoming calendar events, weather information, and news updates. You can even control smart home devices from the tablet. Another reason why the Lenovo Smart Tab M10 Plus is the best cheap tablet around is because it ships with the Lenovo charging dock. So you can prop it up on the charging dock for a hands-free experience and your tablet is getting charged up along the way. The Lenovo Smart Tab M10 Plus is the best cheap tablet because of its vivid, colorful display. It also has a nice variety of ports for a cheap tablet, including USB Type-C, a micro SD card slot and a headset jack. You'll also find yourself playing a lot of fun games on this tablet, whether it's PUBG Mobile or Fortnite. The Lenovo Smart Tab M10 Plus has a starting price of $169.99 and the unit I reviewed cost $229.99, as it has more RAM and storage. Number four, Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. Retailing for $229 and now often on sale for much less, the Galaxy Tab A7 is a great 10.4 inch tablet for consuming content. Whether you're browsing the web or streaming movies, you get to focus on your content more, thanks to its slim bezels that are thinner than what you get with Apple's $329 iPad. Oh, and it's got endurance to spare, lasting 13 hours and 13 minutes on the battery test. It's also got an iPad Pro feature that Apple makes you pay a lot for, facial recognition to unlock the device. And just like Apple's pricier tablets, the Galaxy Tab A7 charges over USB-C, so you can continue to cut non-reversible micro USB cables out of your life. And while it's not as fast as the iPad and its screen isn't as bright, neither is a serious problem at this price. Especially when Samsung gives you true Android with the Google Play App Store and not the watered down Amazon Fire tablet experience. Number three, Lenovo Yoga Tab 11. The Lenovo Yoga Tab 11 has a pretty sweet design from its half fabric, half aluminum chassis to its sleek, lightweight footprint. We also can't forget its unique built-in kickstand. The kickstand even doubles as a hanger, allowing users to hang the slate on a wall for hands-free movie watching. 
We also loved the 11 inch 2K displays, sharp, vivid, well balanced colours. The Yoga Tab 11's loud, crisp speakers are also a big selling point for the Lenovo tablet. Its battery life is also pretty darn good, lasting nearly 12 hours. Of course, because it's priced around $200, the Yoga Tab 11 does cut some corners, and users may see that with its average so so cameras. Overall, the Yoga Tab 11 earned a 4.5 star review because it gives users a lot of buying for their buck. Number two, Xiaomi Pad 5. The Xiaomi Pad 5 is a significant upgrade from its 2018 predecessor, the MyPad 4. It comes with a host of improvements, including an 11-inch 120Hz display, an upgraded Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 chip, and a refined mobile internet UI. MIUI. What's an MIUI, you ask? It's another variant of Android OS developed by Xiaomi, which we really enjoy on the Pad 5. We loved its long battery life. It lasted a whopping 14 hours and 11 minutes before tapping out and giving up on us. We also gave the Xiaomi Pad 5 a thumbs up for its brilliant display, excellent audio setup, and fluid, adaptable OS. The Pad 5 provides an even more seamless experience when paired with the Xiaomi Smart Pen and compatible keyboard. But unfortunately, those accessories are sold separately. Hey, it's one way Xiaomi helps to keep the Pad 5's cost down. Overall, the Xiaomi Pad 5 is a fantastic option for those in need of a quality but affordable tablet. Number 1. iPad 9th Generation Apple's tried and true tablet, the base model iPad, is arguably the best cheap tablet full stop. Not only does the standard $329 price tag cover the same features you'd expect from Apple's other tablets, like iPad OS updates for years and access to the App Store, you also don't have to pay a premium as you do for the more expensive Pro and Air models. The 9th generation iPad was announced in the fall of 2021 and it includes an A13 Bionic processor, plus more storage options. While the 10th generation iPad was announced in 2022, the 2021 version is still a good buy. Plus, it's $120 cheaper. Even if you're shopping for personal use, if your intended uses are mainly video streaming, note taking and playing tablet games, then the 9th generation iPad should suffice. The base model offers 64GB or you can opt for the 256GB of storage if you need the space. The entry-level iPad can be paired with Apple's smart keyboard and an Apple Pencil, converting it from a tablet to a 2-in-1 laptop. So that wraps up our list of the best budget tablets. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which cheap tablet you are going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.